Tonight, friends, family, and colleagues came together to remember Detroit police officer James Hearn. The very loved officer died along with his girlfriend in a car crash early this morning along Woodward Avenue. Our Rod Maloney was at tonight's memorial, which was a very emotional evening, Rod. Yeah, it was, Devin. Now, it's interesting the way these emotions went because we're at the downtown services offices here where Officer Hearn worked. And it was very somber around here today, officers hugging each other. But uh, on the other hand, over at Martin Luther King High tonight, uh, it was a strangely optimistic crowd, mainly because they said James Hearn was a larger-than-life character and they wanted to sort of act like he would have in this situation. This is the last picture of 27-year-old officer James Hearn taken early Thursday morning. He would brought his girlfriend and 11-year-old daughter night fishing, caught this huge catfish wearing his trademark wide smile. James graduated from Martin Luther King High School. And his friends, family, and DPD officers gathered there as football practice ended at sundown. Out of respect, the entire MLK football team took a knee throughout the memorial. To celebrate his life. India Washington is DPD's neighborhood liaison who organized the vigil. He was a hard worker. Started at the 12th precinct and then he ended up at downtown service. That's hard work. So when you think about him, when you think about those officers that you're standing right next to, that they represent James. James' brother Justin told everyone not to be sad. He lived his life to the fullest. I mean, this year alone, the boy done been to Costa Rica, the boy done been to Cancun. He lived, he worked hard, he played hard. And uh, James had one goal, and that he wanted to be a Detroit police officer, and he, he conquered that goal. Thank you for allowing all of us to be a part of his life at some point in time. Then they all said a prayer and released balloons as a fond farewell. And here may be the most fitting tribute. Justin is a police officer with the U.S. Postal Inspector Service. He said tonight, however, that he fully intends to resign and join the Detroit Police Department. Reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, Local 4.